All right, this new quest right here, Planet Earth, is a one-time only uh, mission that's happening this week, today, November 10th, through Friday, November 13th, and early on Friday because this is on Greenwich Mean Time, uh, which is eight hours ahead of us. So, as you can see here, I've gone through all the assignments in the quest, so these are the ones you want to get to. By the time you get to mission codes, that's when you contact me to send you codes. And let me tell you what this is all about. Alright, so this is about the International Space Station that has been in orbit around the Earth for a while now. Uh, and this is what the Earth looks like when they take pictures from the International Space Station. Why am I telling you this? because there's this uh, project called Earth Cam, K-A-M, which stands for uh, Knowledge Acquired by Middle School Students. And basically, it's mission number 72, November 10th through 13, 2020, where the International Space Station will have, uh, uh, give the opportunity for students to schedule a mission for the cameras to take pictures in a part of the Earth that you want to see from the International Space Station. You get to tell it what to take a picture of. I know, it's amazing. And I've got this cool video here uh, that shows you what the Earth looks like from the International Space Station. The orbit right above the Earth, which is not far compared to, like, the Moon, which is way farther from the Earth than the International Space Station. And the Moon is close to us compared to everything else in space, so just to give you some perspective there. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is, is uh, learn about uh, the account. What account do we have to do this? And that's going to be in the logging in assignment. But you got to think about what do you want to take a picture of? In science, we're learning about watersheds and we're learning about rivers, creeks, and streams through Chimicum Creek. We're learning about the, the fish and, and the ecosystems. So if you go to Google Maps or Google Earth, you know you can switch to satellite, right? And you can zoom in and get a pretty good look at the features of where you live. It's pretty awesome. And if I go to Map View, I can find Chimicum Creek. So looky there, there's Chimicum Creek, right? When I switch to satellite, something about Chimicum Creek is there are places where it's covered by vegetation and you can't see it. And even here, it's like, really? That's a creek? I can barely see the water. You have to get really close. Um, but it gives you an idea of what it looks like. But when was this picture taken? Yeah, it's probably been a long time, right? So, we want current pictures. Pictures they're going to take this week. So find a place on the Earth that you want to see that has a cool river like the Nile or the Amazon or the Yangtze River in China. Um, and, and find it. And take a snapshot of the Google Maps image. So let's say I go to Nile River. There it is. Maybe I want to take a picture of it now to compare to this to see if there's been any changes. Plus, wow, what a mighty river this is. So then, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I'm going to go to logging in, and here's the information uh, you need. So I've got the username and password, and don't share it. We know what happens when you give out passwords. Bad things can happen. And you're going to go to the link there, the Sally Ride Earth Cam uh, website. By the way, Sally Ride was the first woman to go into space, and this is happening because of her. She wanted to leave a legacy of, of kids getting a chance to have uh, play a part in what's going on in space. So you're going to log into the mission login. Don't do the teacher login because that's the wrong password. And here you are. This is your missions operations center. Now, so far, 
this is uh, a, a mission that I submitted. It's an image request, so you're going to go to image request. And here's where it gets funky. So you've got a map of the world, and you've got all these orbits. So you've got to click on the orbits, but read step two carefully. You're going to be shown a point along the orbit of the International Space Station ground track where the image will be taken, but they will only take images during daylight periods. And look at the color for daylight. It's red. So let's say, oh, look at this. This just missed the Nile River. But if I click there, yeah, I miss it. So let's see if one of the other orbits has one that gets closer to the Nile. Ooh, well, this one gives me South America. That one misses Africa entirely. Boy, this one. Not even close. So you're going to keep checking all these orbits till you find red daylight during a part of the Earth you want to see from space. Boy, it doesn't even have anything on the Northern Hemisphere. What's up with us? I know we have daylight. I've seen it. Some about the orbit, it's missing the Northern Hemisphere. Looks like we're going to have to focus on Southern Hemisphere uh, points on the map. Oh, look at that. That misses everything. Yeah, looks like the first one was the closest. Yep. So let's go back to that first one. And let's zoom in here. And oh, looky there. I can still get a piece of the Nile River. So here's what you do. Click right where you want to take a picture. Okay. Then you go down to request image. Now this part's important. You have to get the codes from me. So when you're ready for this, you're going to request the codes uh, by messaging me on Classcraft. And then when you go here, you're going to go to 6th grade and find the codes. We're going to copy that. And go back here and paste it. I'm going to change that number because I actually have a different code in mind. And I'm going to submit. Now, your code word was accepted, but you haven't made the request yet. And if you try to submit, it's going to give you an error because you got to fill this out. So orbit is right here. I'm just going to copy and paste. This is the only time it's okay to copy and paste. The GMT is right there. And it's got the right format. Latitude. I want just the number. Don't even copy the degree sign. And then it says N, north. Good, that's already picked. Be careful because you want to have the right latitude and longitude. I got, oops, got a space there. Don't put any spaces in front there. And then that one is E East. That's good. And then location, I think it's still in Egypt or thereabouts. And the region is uh, part of the Nile River. So this is why you want to know what you're getting before you get it, so you can fill this out accurately and correctly. Then when you submit, boom, success. Photo request accepted. Each sixth grader is going to get six codes, so you can request up to six images. And please use them, because we don't want to waste these precious codes, because this only happens once in a while. And then we go here, and we can view our requests to make sure they submitted and everything is good. Um, and that's it. That's how you do it. So if you're not in class and you miss this or you forget what I showed you, this is exactly how to do it step by step. So if you've gotten to this part of the video and you didn't do any of this, pause, go back, and do. Now, you gotta wait till you get the codes, otherwise you can't submit a request. Uh, but when you do come back here, make sure you're able to do this. You know, don't try to do it from memory. Watch the video and do what I do. Because look, 
If it worked for me, it'll work for you. But you can't just watch the video and then ignore it and don't do it. Or be looking around and not paying attention. You have to watch, pause, do, repeat. Watch, pause, do, repeat. All right. Good luck. Let's use these codes and get some great photos.